The Van Gleek Hill and District Historical Society welcomes viewers to a walking tour of Van Gleek Hill, Ontario. This DVD project was made possible by a grant from the Ontario Ministry of Tourism and Culture under the 2010 Museums and Technology Program. The content is the sole responsibility of the Historical Society. We thank Ron Hanfield of the Hawkesbury Kojiko Station, who kindly filmed many of the Victorian houses in Van Gleek Hill and prepared the mixing of image and sound. We thank Jean Sarrazin of Van Gleek Hill, who assisted with the sound recording. So why are we doing a DVD walking tour? Each summer and fall, the Historical Society leads walking tours in the open air. We blend local history with details about our red brick and gingerbread houses. Unexpected changes in weather patterns have at times disrupted these tours with extreme heat or with extreme rain. As well, there are people who, for reasons of health or age, are unable to participate in open-air walking tours. And then there are classrooms that suffer from low budgets, and we want to reach as many youth as we can to connect them to local history and encourage civic pride and curiosity. This DVD project is our response to all of these challenges. As the conversation about Van Gleek Hill takes place, you will see a selection of our red brick homes and examples of our 19th century gingerbread. Are you ready? Get comfortable and let's walk into history. Hi, I'm Michelle Landrio, a volunteer with the Van Gleek Hill Museum. And I am Ken Davis, originally from Trinidad, but found myself teaching literature at the Collegiate Institute in Van Gleek Hill. Ken, I think you may have some questions about Van Gleek Hill. Michelle, you are so right. How did it get its name? Ah, Van Gleek is a Dutch family name. It belonged to Simon Van Gleek and his wife Cecilia Jaycox. Simon's ancestors immigrated to the province of New York and he was born there in 1745. Cecilia's family was originally from England and they too immigrated to the province of New York. Did you say province of New York? Yes I did. New York was a province as it was under British rule at the time. Britain had political control over what is now the northeastern United States. The American Revolution or War of Independence took place from 1775 to 1783. That war pitched the American Patriots against the British. The outcome was the Patriots won, the British were ousted, and the history of the United States began. I see. But where did this leave Simon and Cecilia? Good question. There's some exciting moments in their story. Simon and Cecilia sided with the British during the war. They were loyalists loyal to the crown. Simon was a prosperous farmer in Dutchess County, New York. When the Patriots came to their door, the couple knew they were about to lose everything. Simon convinced the Patriots to come to the barn and look over his prized horse, which they were about to confiscate. To show off the animal's skills, Simon mounted the horse and he took off. He escaped at the same time, Cecilia grabbed her children and ran into the cornfields where she hid until help came from friends. Eventually, the family was reunited, but they had lost their land, their home, and all their possessions. Very shrewd man, that Simon. So they now were on the road looking for a new home. Yes, they were certainly looking for a new home. Like most displaced persons, little did they know exactly where they would end up. The Loyalists and the British troops left New York in defeat. The British still had control over Upper and Lower Canada. With those retreating troops, the first stop for Simon and Cecilia was in Nova Scotia. What could they expect? Did Simon and Cecilia start with nothing? It looks like they did. The British set up an application process. Loyalists had to make a claim that listed all their personal losses and explained what they did during the war as loyal British subjects. Based on these applications, the British then rewarded the Loyalists with land grants. 
Sometimes the land awards were of poor quality, or disaster hit, such as barns burning down. Over a few years, Simon and Cecilia went through these experiences a couple of times. After Nova Scotia, they tried to settle on lands in the eastern townships and then again in the lower Laurentians of Quebec without any great success. So would you say third time lucky? That's right. After several land petitions, Simon was finally content with land on a hill in West Hawkesbury Township, which is our region in Ontario. He and his now grown son Simon Jr. began clearing that acreage in 1797. And this was the beginning of Van Gleek's Hill. You know, the genesis of Van Gleek Hill fits in with the experience of so many immigrants to Canada. Finding a place to live where they can make a positive contribution. What a fascinating and exciting place, Van Gleek Hill. I agree absolutely. With the exception of the First Nation in Inuit, all our families have come from somewhere else to be in Canada. Today, Van Gleek Hill continues to welcome new residents and new cultures. Thanks, Ken. Want to go for a walk? <laughs>